ones we're going to be interested in are the ones that define what are called the Lagrange elements. And this is basically the simplest set of points that define a polynomial space on a simplex. So a simplex is the n triangle. So an interval is a simplex, a triangle is a simplex, a tetrahedron is a simplex, and it keeps going up through the dimensions. And so if you have a d-dimensional polynomial, then the number of dimensions you need is p, choose, p plus d choose d. And if we just regularly place these over the triangle, that's the simplest possible answer. So what that amounts to is I have p plus one points along the bottom of the triangle. And unsurprisingly, p plus one points is the number of nodes required to produce a p-dimensional polynomial on an interval because the element when reduced to any of its edges still has to be a p-dimensional polynomial. And then as I move up, the next row has one fewer point, the next row has one fewer point, and so on. So you get a regular lattice of points. And that's all that that's saying. So that's all you have to do. And so you've been asked to implement this. There is a point here which is actually, this is a very simple basis. It's not a very good basis. Uh, if you actually want to represent polynomials of very high order and you use equally spaced points, uh, then you get very large oscillations near the edges of your elements for reasons to do with continuity that call Gibbs oscillations. And so uh, you can do better things by not equally spacing the points and putting the points at uh, the solutions to the genre polynomials and so on. But that, at this stage, is just complication. We'll do the easy one. And exercise 2.3 is very much like the exercise from last time. There's a formula. In this case, it's this formula. And there is a Lagrange points function, which you need to implement. And Lagrange points takes in a cell object. You'll remember we met these earlier. So by inspecting the cell object, you can know where the, how many dimensions you're in, how many vertices there are, and so on. And it also needs a degree, because obviously the number of points you have is dependent on the degree according to this formula. So the degree is P. Uh, 